Whoops. How long ago did you get here, young man? Uh, August of 2021. All right, so you haven't had a mask on since August of 2021 then nope. at Liberty University. Yep. How do you like Liberty University? Oh, I love Liberty. Really? Amazing campus. Everything you can think of, you can do here. Well, what, I mean, it looks like they got the facilities. My goodness gracious. I mean, the soccer fields and the sports complex. And of course, I know they remodeled the football stadium. Oh, yeah, of course, and I've, I just got the hideaway area with the zip line and the kayaks. And I mean, I just can't believe the facilities around here. Am I missing anything that you... Um, want to tell people about don't you have an ice rink right yes we do and um the gym is amazing um and i will say the game room um they have it in demos so fun and the food here is really good as well oh they got good food huh yes is that pretty is it just a one meal fits all or you got a variety of um, choices we actually have a variety of choices there's stuff like chick-fil-a um garbanzo which is a mediterranean place um star ginger which is an asian food place stuff like that it's actually a really good variety and you can always go to the rot it's not you can get there um every like you can go as many times as you want all right and so we're hiking lots of different types of food all right let me get this we just hiked across the peak because i've done this trail before you saw the didn't show you the fire pit back there because i'm doing an interview with two nice young people that are telling us all about Liberty University. This will be a separate video, so let's uh, just want to let them know about the hike a little bit. Whew, because now we're going back down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's see, what else do we want to, well, your basketball, I mean, what was, uh, didn't y'all, you're in the playoffs right now, aren't you? Yes, we are. Okay, how's the, uh, how's that going? Uh, amazing, we, I think a championship game is either, what is it? No, 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 I mean, uh, uh, with the qualifiers were last night, I want to say. I did not go to the game. I yeah. did not keep up on the basketball like that, but... Uh... Yeah, I went to James Madison, and uh, I don't know if you remember that one year we threatened... Uh... North, North Carolina and they beat us by two points and we were going to go all the way that year to the championship I think if North Carolina but we picked them in the first the second or third round I can't remember of the NCAA championship and that's that was the last time James Madison had a good basketball team <laughs> <laughs> it has been a while. yeah now how about football I mean oh. James Madison's been a powerhouse did y'all uh, are y'all y'all beating them down now yes actually um our football team is amazing. Uh, Malik Willis, I think he's leaving at the end of this year. That's and, the coach? Uh, no, uh, oh. he's our uh, quarterback. Oh, your quarterback, amazing okay. Quarterback. Uh, has he got? Has he been, uh, well, I don't know. He probably hadn't been picked yet if he's got one more year. Is that right? One more um, year? Uh, there's definitely teams talking about him. Okay. Um, I remember there was speculation that he might be going to the Steelers, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Eh? They might be picking somebody else, but um, he's definitely going to be in the uh, NFL draft. Well, I'll send him to Florida, man. That's where I live now. <laughs> we, we could use him in Tampa Bay if, um, Tom, Brady's if Tom Brady retires. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like he's going to retire. So we could uh, that that would help us out. Uh, what else? How's your how's your hockey team? I've never seen any hockey, but but I'm, I assume that the how does it how, how do you do in hockey? I just stepped on another rock. Um, there. I actually I don't go to the hockey games. I have heard there's uh, quite a crowd that goes to them though. It's fun to watch, man. I tell you, we had hockey when I lived in Michigan. And uh, occasionally I would go down to the hockey, but of course it was just so doggone expensive. You know, that's why I couldn't go. But if you, if you got a team at a college, you ought to check it out, man. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a lot of fun and pretty violent, too. I mean, a lot of people think hockey's not a contact sport. Oh, it's a contact sport, man. Rough. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, what else is there? Oh, how about the uh, education? I mean, uh, you're not getting taught that critical race theory or any of that woke, <laughs> woke garbage that uh, they're teaching at other universities, are you? No, I actually came from a uh, very liberal magnet school over in Maryland, and it's uh, it's a nice change of pace. They don't shove their uh, political views down your throat. Yeah, when did when did professors get in the job of, of teaching politics? When I went to college, you know, it was strictly academic. It, you was, know? A, it was a big part of the choice uh, made. Uh, when applying to colleges and Liberty, you never really have to worry about it. Um, it's it's uh, they embed Christianity and their teachings, and they don't really shove their political views down your throat, which is honestly all you can really ask for. Which you know, that's what I've been telling people. I mean, because this is a conservative university, but yes. the thing is, you know, what people don't understand, you know, this country was founded 
on conservative or, you know, in the eyes of God, in my, because I think they base the Constitution a lot on the Bible. Yes. You know, is that what you learn in school or no? Uh, yes, it is actually. Um, Imagine teaching the Constitution at a university. Now How even, about that? <laughs> even, uh, even those who don't really have the political views of uh, conservatives, I believe that there is, uh, I believe that there is still, they're still welcoming here. Well, yeah, they're not going to force it down your yeah. throat, but I mean, but I, I hope that they do illustrate how the Constitution was based on the Bible yes. and based on Christianity. You know, a lot of people don't know that. Let's see, we're coming up on, nope, I'm still on Raptor Run. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping we were getting to getting the cross trail. Wait a minute, there's Dirty Ridge. I think that's the trail I'm looking for. Well, I guess uh, anything else you want to tell people? I didn't get your face on the video, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's a great time. We stay out of trouble here, and there's there's no need to get in trouble. So any other yeah. facilities? Because I mean, don't you own River Ridge Mall now? And uh, and of course, the racquetball courts on Liberty Road. You know, you own those. I know that because I went to play racquetball, and they said, "Oh, this is owned by Liberty University now." River uh, River Ridge is definitely uh, it's an interesting mall. It's a little bit smaller than what I'm used to back at home, but. It'll do. Um, if you wanted to go hang out with some friends, it's definitely a place to go. Um, the town is really nice. It's a, it's a small it's a small community feel. Yeah. So um, even the people who don't belong to Liberty are very welcome. So right. it's and, a great place to be. And really then how many how many tennis courts do you got? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. A know. bunch though, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 uh, we had a kid on the hall that uh, made the tennis team. Aim it down here. It was. Um, he said the facilities were very nice. Yeah, uh, very up to date. So, and the okay. swimming is too. I I looked at the pools that they have. It's well, you got a lake over here, you know. But I guess, what? How many Olympic sized swimming pools have you got? I want to say three. Three Olympic sized swimming pools. Any other pools besides Olympic size or no? No. I don't think so. Um, what about a diving area? Do you do you do any diving, or is that too much liability now? <laughs> I don't do diving. Um. <laughs> It, I assume they would have at least one set of uh, the, the diamond boards of different sizes too. All right, so one, my, the one thing that I've always wanted to do, and we'll finish off the video right here. Have you done the zip line? I have not, but you I- You haven't done I, the I, zip I, line? That, that looks like the most fun thing at the college to do, man. I have, not been, I have not been over to Hideaway as much as I'd like to be, and I definitely plan on getting over there soon, so. And I saw, you know, it was hammock area. Did you just check out those hammocks? Is that what you do? Um, no, I, they call I, it hammock row or whatever that was. And I actually have been enjoying the hikes around here, here in yeah. Roanoke. It's a great area. Well, I, you know, heck, since I can help you out just a little bit, um, I heard, no, I've heard, I haven't been there yet. I am going to go as uh, Sweetbriar College is supposed to have a bunch of trails. Okay. So you might want to check that out. That's not that far. You know, we're just past Madison Heights, you know, yeah. but, but I am going to check that out before I, I had to come up and help my mom. That's why I'm here, you know, and okay. won't even give you that story. You can watch my videos if you ever want to get that story. It's been something else. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, yeah. All right, I guess that's about it. Uh, they haven't even done the zip line. Who the heck comes to Liberty University and doesn't do the zip line, man? All right, let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no vast mandates, no jab requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please. If you're a Democrat, move to California, move to New York, but don't come to Florida. Bye-bye.